In this video, I want to quickly go over the moves of the game, even though this video is a puzzle of the week, simply because it is Albert Einstein playing with uh, the white pieces, and his opponent is um, not really sure who he is. The last name apparently is Sal. So, yeah, that's all I know really. And, uh, well, the opening was a uh, Choco Piano or Italian game. And, well, I'm not an expert on this opening, but. Just uh, looking at the game, I can tell you that he's actually pretty good for an amateur player. Uh, unlike, uh, say, Bill Gates, who Magnus Carlsen just uh, crushed um, very quickly. If you haven't seen that video, you can uh, check that out after you finish watching this. And, well, here I don't think that he plundered uh, the exchange. I think uh, he pretty much sacrifices the rook on purpose. And even though it's not a sound sacrifice, I think... Um, I don't know, it might be something I would at least consider playing in a 3 minute game. So we have this check, and... Well... Black, objectively, is uh, better, but I don't know. I, I think it's just uh, white who's having all the fun. And uh, here, uh, obviously, you have a checkmate uh, threat on f7. And you can see the evaluation is uh, minus 1.6, so... This next move is a blunder, and well, now you can see that it's actually forced mate in uh, six moves. So you can pause the video and try to figure out how you win this position. So the move here that was played in the game is a uh, 96 check. And, you know, that shows that, you know, he's got some uh, skill. The point is, obviously, the king can't really go anywhere. You can't capture the bishop because it's protected by the rook and there's no scores available. You're not only checking the king, you're also hitting the queen. So you kind of have to take the knight. And, well, now, you can play this check. That was the whole point of the knight, uh, getting out of this diagonal so that the bishop could come to h6. You're skewering the king and the queen, so, again, uh, the king has only one uh, move, that is to capture the bishop on h7. And, well, now you take the queen with check, and, well, you have one move. And, well, here you actually have one move, and, you know, I, I was looking at this and I was like, mm, could I get away with um just not um, taking the rook on h8 and just uh, moving with the queen but now that's actually a mistake here you have to take the rook and well black can't really do anything except take back and now it's just made into after this check it doesn't matter if you go to h7 or g8 Queen g7 will be checkmates. So the game actually ended after knight e6. So I guess uh, Black saw that, you know, he was getting uh, 
getting mated, or at least he saw that he was going to lose the queen, and that the position would just be um, just too overwhelming because there's like no development here, and this bishop is not going to be able to defend against the uh, well against the attack, frankly, and the same thing can be said of this knight. So, if you like the video, um, do give it a thumbs up, and uh, I'm thinking I might do a more detailed analysis of this game, because it's actually pretty interesting. So, um, if we ever get to 100 likes, you know, I might do a, a full analysis of the game. So... Don't forget to uh, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thank you for watching.